We have entered Dark Town. Oh shit. I'm probably going to want to bring another person along. Alright, here we go. We're in Dark Town because the Canari have allowed a formula for, quote, gunpowder to go and be taken by a dwarf, which was trying to get at it for use of it as an explosive for mining purposes and that kind of stuff. Probably weapons and stuff, wherever we can sell it to. Kunari knew he was after this set of trap. He didn't steal gunpowder. He stole the formula for a poison gas that will cause a bunch of people to fly into a rage and start killing people around them if uh, accidentally released. Now, since he doesn't know what this formula is going to make, it's a possibility that a lot of people could die. That's why we're after this to stop it. Turn up your purses, Kurtwall. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop. We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. I need to find Javaris now. Where's he hiding? Scary. Anyone else I'd jump to their defense. Unless they owed me, like he does. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cup if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Javaris doesn't exactly sound like a mastermind at work here. No, he does not. Let's hunt that little bastard down. Oh, we're down here again. Oh, shit, there's something way far away that's trying to kill us. That took much longer than I thought it would. Jeez, did he, uh... I guess it, it makes sense that he'd be part of the card, or, you know, a criminal organization. I don't know why I didn't suspect that before. Makes perfect sense. Jeez, people, get out of the way! <laughs> people seem to be sneaking into this place a lot. Hiding in this place, doing illegal crap in this place. Maybe the city guard should keep an eye on this place. You won't see the helmet anyway. Oh, they're way far away. Why are we starting battle this far away? I mean, damn, these guys are a mile away.
getting rich off of this endeavor. She just came down here and kill everyone every more often, you know, get a lot of money out of this. Oh, they got this way blocked off this time. Whatever, we can go around. Ooh, treasure chest. Done. Nah, don't need that. I just had to level up Hulk. This guy's a human. Let's see, a mercenary working for the Carter? I am looking way too deep into this. Let it go. Let it go. Starts another quest. This stuff over here. Gathered materials. Got some silverite, that was nice. I'm still kind of used to thinking about this in the sense of Dragon Age Inquisition, where it is a good idea to try and gather all of the materials, well, I mean, within reason, of course, that you see, because it's used for crafting, and crafting gets you the most powerful weapons in the game. It is oh, check it out. It'll, um... So, like, you gain yourself new weapons and swords and you can build more powerful and awesome stuff depending on, like, what kind of materials you use and what kind of plans you use. I really like the, the weapon stuff in Inquisition. In, uh, 2, you don't really see anything nearly that complex, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm still going to gather these materials up. Of course. That any way to greet an old friend? You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. You brought this on yourself. Who else would steal their powder? Wait. You're tracking for the Canari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch barn. The obvious thief was perhaps a bit too obvious. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Canari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards, and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. So far, all I see is you. Leaving the other person behind is the first step in running away. Sorry if that's inconvenient. Here. Want to drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Lowtown. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Ha. <laughs> Sounds like you have a long way to go. Hopefully. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sounding bunch of 
Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord in rotors. <laughs> Now, as smart as the Kunari were, I guess, they really didn't see that coming. The, the obvious thief may not be so obviously correct. That didn't make any sense. What a mess of mud and blood. No resale value at all. Alright, we're outside the city again. And we gotta go bring our asses back into. Uh, oh, stuff! In order to get back to Dark Town, or was it Low Town? I can't remember. Doesn't matter who stole it, though. We need to find out where it is and prevent them from making the the poison gas. So let's get moving. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. This should do the trick. Every, the poison gas has already been manufactured. It's already leaking. So we gotta seal up these barrels. <laughs> Having a hard time picking it up. Get out of the way, Andrews. Alright, there's one more. Uh, the barrel's back here. Why'd they just put it all over the damn street?
She wasn't a mercenary. Okay. So, your fault, I presume? Is that... Sarah Hawk? You have enemies. I'm glad it's you, really. These poor people. You are a much better target. Explain yourself, now. Kanari take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kune for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Kanari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong. You were going to kill people anyway. That's... Not funny at all, really. It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. Something tells me this woman was nuts to begin with. formula now. <laughs> and a new sword. I don't think that's worth it. Anything or anything up here to collect. Now, um... The Arashok may have known that somebody would try to steal it, but he obviously didn't know what was going to happen here. That it wasn't the person they thought was going to steal it, they were stealing it for a different purpose, and we actually, in a way, did them a favor. The last thing that the Kunari want is probably to have the entire city just suddenly turn against them. Even though the Kanari have quite a few t numbers to them and they are powerful, uh, it would not turn out well for them to suddenly be attacked or whatever by the entire city. And that seems to have been what the elf was going on about. Now, the elves in general, especially the city elves, are very hateful of the human population. It's mostly because they're oppressed to such a degree that they have to live in ghettos and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of them have a tendency to flee to the Canari and not, sort of not really request an asylum so much as like, let me join your culture. And the Canari welcome that as long as it's this person who's willing to live by those kinds of rules. Now a lot of elves see that as being better than living in the kind of squalor and oppression that they have to in human societies. I don't know if there are that many Dalish elves do this kind of thing, but city elves tend to. And this elf seems to be like, damn, they're stealing our people, and they're making them forget their own, like, uh, their own culture and all that, for uh, assimilating in the Kunari society. And that's what she was fighting against. All are forbidden, except you. 
All are forbidden, forbidden except for me and my three followers. So, I was wrong about our thief. You'll get used to it. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? If you won't talk straight, then we won't talk. Hold. Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You turn from me. Do you turn as easily from all this chaos? I take no blame for this city. I'm new here too. And it disgusts you as well? Some of it, but would it be so different anywhere else? Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. You claim it is no different anywhere else. We deny that with a certainty that would benefit not just you, but this whole city. He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. Why aren't you more concerned about her supporters? Our enemies strike from shadow because they cannot stand before us. This is not a revelation. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's taking long enough. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You keep going on about that, but never say anything. Should I argue the wind? Very well. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek, years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn. And you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. He's on the edge. The Viscount should know. Oh, man, that's not good. We finally found out the reason why, and we don't know specifically why, but we have some understanding at this point why the Canari have not left. Something has been stolen from them, and it's their mission to get it back. And they're not going to leave. They're too dedicated to their cause. They're not going to leave until they get it. And they're not willing to tell us what it is that they are looking for. He needs to find it, I guess, some sort of matter of pride on his part, that he needs to be the one to catch it. He needs to be the one to find it. 
So he won't even tell us, the only humans in the city that he seems to have any form of respect for. He won't even tell us what it is. So that, uh, and they, boy does he hate this city. And pretty much any sort of human culture, I imagine. Hawk says it wouldn't be different anywhere else, he says. Well, that's pretty much he's saying it's that way because you're all weak and greedy and all that kind of stuff. So this <laughs> this whole situation is not going to end well. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. An accident on purpose, more or less. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. He's a hare from the edge. You need to keep everyone calm. Too late, I fear. It's a shame. He was making overtures of cordialness. Your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing, almost literally, from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Konani, but it will cost.